Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to, well this is episode 4 of our FIFA World Cup series in Russia and today you've been treated to a very good match which I'm looking forward to um, obviously in a, uh, quite a few days um, it's going to happen but this is the first like top tier game and it's in the group stage, group B, Portugal v Spain, I'm so looking forward to this game and Thinking about it, what team do I think is going to win this game? I'd probably say Spain, just with the like more players out of class. Um, obviously, Portugal have Ronaldo, who could decide a game by himself. But we're going to be Spain in this game, and obviously we're going to be playing an away game. I do actually kind of like the grey and like red uh, and white um, like theme to the away kit. I do like that home kit as well, and we will be using that at some point in the tournament. And we are going to be against Portugal, who's... Home kit just never changes, neither does their away kit. They're just boring. Night kits are just trash. They're just basic. But anyway, let's have a quick look at this team, see if it's the team we're going to be using. Very wide for Silva and Isco, but they don't really have any out-and-out -out wingers anymore. Um, so that's going to be interesting. You know what? Morata's not going to the World Cup, so I'm actually not going to use him. We've got Diego Costa, who is going. And we've got Rodrigo, who I'm going to bring onto the bench instead of Nacho, I think. Let's have a look at that team. So we've got Carvajal, Sergio Ramos, got PK and Albo, got De Gea and goal, Busquets, Iniesta, Thiago, Davis Silva. It's, it's a very good team. I'm not going to lie. It's a very, very, very good side. So without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, it looks like Ronaldo versus Ramos, the two Real Madrid titans facing off against each other. And we are playing at the Fisk. Stadium in Sochi. Okay. All I know about Sochi is they hosted the Winter Olympics. And also each year they host a Formula 1 Grand Prix. And it's actually a very good track. Such a very good track. But let's get into this game. Cristiano Ronaldo, captain in his country. And to be fair, there's a lot of pressure I'd say on Portugal. Because they won Euro t uh, 2016 somehow against France. In the final with um, Adair getting the goal that just put him in the limelight. But since then, what has he done really? It's two years on. What's up? Oh, I, I kind of like that um, red, blue and white effect to symbolise Russia in the stadium. But this is going to be a very, very tight game. But hopefully a very entertaining um, game for you guys. I can't wait to watch it in real life like I've already said. But I can't wait to play in this game. But obviously we're going to be watching the pre-match presentation and have a good analysis of the teams obviously we've seen the Spain team so I'll gloss over that quickly but the Portugal fans are ready in their numbers Isco is ready to play in the World Cup finals and Andre Silva playing at his first World Cup he's had a pretty poor uh, season for AC Milan he's been linked to a Wolves who have been freshly promoted to the Premier League congratulations to them but now here's the national anthem. So we've got Andre Silva, we've got Yao Mario, we've got Bernardo Silva had a very good season with Man City winning the title and League Cup. Uh, I think that's William Carvalho, we've got Pepe who's been playing for Besiktas this season. I think that's Jose Font who I think, he, well, no, I think he's left West Ham, I think, is he gone to China I want to say? Got Sergio Ramos, obviously right now I'm not very happy with him because he injured Mo Salah in Champions League final and he concussed... Um, uh, Loris carries in goal but it's a World Cup I can't stay mad but yeah look at that Spain team the classy players even Boost gets like a lot of people have a downer with him on FIFA because he's slow but he's still the best in his position realistically in CDM probably well in Spain at least but you'd say the likes of Matic, Kante and like Fabinho right now or probably the other ones Fernandinho as well maybe Casemiro you could say in that bracket as well but we start with Rupercio in goal we've got Cedric, Fonte, Pepe and Guerrero who um, plays for Borussia Dortmund Willian Carvalho like I've already said Bernardo Silva, João Martinho and João Mario with up front Andre Silva and the main man Cristiano Ronaldo I am looking forward to seeing how he does in the World Cup and uh, I'll quickly gloss over the Spain team because I've already done it. But it's a very strong team. Actually, I'm going to have a look at the bench. So we've got Asensio, Ayagaz Pass, who's had a very good season at um, Celta Vigo. Got Koke, Saul, 
um, who have both played for Atletico Madrid. As Pela Quetta had a very good season despite um, struggling with Chelsea. But we are about to go, and this is the highlight game of probably the group stages up to date. Obviously, there's going to be the likes of Belgium, England, which is going to be a good game as well. But this is a good game too play in the group stages and obviously with the surprise um, win for Iran in the last episode if you haven't seen that go and check it out it was a big shock well it's not a big shock it was against they were against Morocco but like I was in charge uh, I was playing as Morocco and I lost to Iran um, so they're on three points so the winner of this will join Iran on three points it could be a draw actually and Iran could be heading the uh, group B table Bernardo Silva, he's managed to get through and he's managed to score past David De Gea. I'm not going to lie, I've been concentrating, but Portugal have just been very crisp with their passing. And Bernardo Silva, after a very good season in his first season in England, has started this game brilliantly. And I'm 1-0 I'm down again in a World Cup match, but I can understand it's Portugal. Very good ball by Ronaldo. Good first touch by Bernardo Silva, and he's just toe pokes it past David De Gea. Man City versus Man United player. Oh, 1 0 Portugal. So this game has already started very good. Let's see what we can do as Spain to get back into it. Actually, in the last World Cup, Spain did, didn't did play all too well um, because obviously Germany won the World Cup. Uh, it's been a while since their dominance because obviously they won Euro 2008, um, World Cup 2010, and. Um, Euro 2012 as well. So it's been a while since they've done. It's been six years. But is Diogo Costa. What can he do? Cuts back. Oh, he tries to dink it up. I think Isco was about to go for it. But it's well blocked off. Diogo Costa at the near post. Can he get to it? No, he can't. Away by Pepe. Got PK on the edge. Got Sergio Busquets. Oh, Diogo Costa couldn't take it in. And I think it was Pepe again then. Unless it was Fonte then. Probably was for Fonte actually. Joe Mario away. This is the first proper game where you, we've seen some superstars I think. Obviously we've seen the likes of Suarez, Cavani and Mo Salah. But there's so many on this pitch. So it's going to be a huge game for both of their campaigns. Or tournaments I should say. Oh... My God, I knew as Andre Silva turned, he was going to shoot, but that's a brilliant finish. And Portugal are 2-0 up against Spain. Is it going to be one of those tournaments again for Spain where they struggle? You've got to give respect to Portugal. I did say that, like, in real life, I'd, I'd consider Spain favourites, but... Okay, how did he hit that? Because his legs were crossed over. But a brilliant finish. Wow. I did say Andre Silva's had a uh, tough season at uh, AC Milan, but I am a big fan of Andre Silva actually, he's, he's a sick player, but that is a brilliant goal. Iniesta, you need to do something magic. Okay, well done by Jordi Alba then, getting it off Ronaldo. I'm not too sure about the formation really for Spain. Pepe has been brilliant. Carvajal. Oh, Iniesta's at the side netting. Is Ronaldo again? Oh, Ramos just didn't. Otherwise, it could have been 3-0 then to Portugal and possibly just game over. Let's go to Diego Costa. Back to David Silva. If there's anyone that can spark life into this Spain team, it's him. What a save by Ro Patricio. How important will that be at the end of the game? Fonte and Pepe have been brilliant against well, Ramos in that instance who you'd back every day to get ahead of them. Oh, that's poor. 
Come on, all these creative players, they need to do something. Sean Mario just can't get anywhere near them. And I can't believe this. Portugal against me. I'm in. T uh, I'm controlling Spain. This is a world class. Portugal are three nil up. Andre Silva is clinical. Cristiano Ronaldo hasn't had much impact on this game, but look at this. Just he hits it first time, and David de Gea, what is wrong with you? Just before half time, it is three nil Portugal. It's. I think Spain's formation is wrong. It needs to be more narrow. Too much space in that midfield. Portugal just to get out. I'm gonna have to change something at half time. Cover hell. David Silva, you've got a chance! But it's straight into Jao Mario, I think it was, and it's half time. Something needs to change, but Portugal are in dreamland. Wait, two shots on top. Oh, yeah, one came off the post. But it should count as on target, realistically. They've had three shots and they've had three goals. That's clinical. Spain has struggled. Spain has struggled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the same sort of formation, but I'm going to go more narrow. Diego Costa's had a bad game so far. Silva can stay there. Midfield three is not too bad. But let's go. It's coming off. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> and... Uh, do I bring on Asensio or do I bring on, I think, Rodrigo? We need pace in this team just to get through Portugal, who defended perfect. 3-0 at half-time. If this game happened in real life, it would send shockwaves through the world of football and set down a gauntlet to anyone that Portugal could mean business. Ronaldo is just amazing. 95 rated in this World Cup mode, playing as a striker. Right. Sergio Busquets has got it away. Obviously, Ronaldo knows as much as anyone how to play against Spanish players because he plays against them week in, week out. Iniesta. Rodrigo. Got the overlap for Alba, but there's no one there. David Silva wins a header and it's over, but Spain need a goal, I would say, within the first, before 60 minutes if they got any chance of salvaging something from this game. But it would take a Herculean task, considering how, oh my god, Cristiano Ronaldo has got past Sergio Ramos. He's got a chance here. David Hay has saved it, something, but actually it was probably the weakest effort a lot. All they have to do now is just play counter attacking football, um, Portugal do, and they should win this game. Let's go ultra attacking because Spain need to get back into this game. Oh, Pepe. He needs man of the match, but it's probably going to give in to Andre Silva right now, who's played out of his skin. Could he be the player to watch in this World Cup? I honestly think so. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He's put it wide. Ronaldo, like famously, doesn't do great in World Cups. Um, but that is an easy chance. Adrian Silva coming on for Portugal instead of William Carvalho. Just changing it up a bit. Carver Hall, what can you do? There's no one really that's got space. Oh, that's poor. Busquets. There's no one there. Thiago. Pepe away again. He's, he's just been brilliant. I know, right? I. I cannot fault Portugal. They've been superb. Iniesta, I think, is going to come off. And Koke is going to come on. And I think Asensio on for Silva. And we're just going to have to throw the kitchen sink at Portugal right now to get anything from this game. Even a consolation goal at this stage wouldn't be too bad. But we'll have to see. Because right now, this is a shambles. Diego Costa's got a chance. He's hit the crossbar. That just sums up Spain's evening, I'd say. Ah, oh, that that it needed to go in. It needed to go in for Spain. It just didn't. 
Maybe I need to bring Morata into this team. Diego Costa. He's got no space. Like, Fonte and Pepe are just marshalled. Look at them defending. Rodrigo's got a chance. He's got one back. He has got one back. I just had to slow the play it's down there. But Portugal just stopped. And Rodrigo gets his first goal of the World Cup. This game isn't over just yet. There's 13 more minutes to get. If Spain can get uh, one more back, like, very early on, this game could be intense the last couple of minutes. But they could have the hammer blow here. Jelson Fernandez is quick. Oh, I could have got a penalty then. Adrian, he's finished it. I can't believe that. That is the sucker punch. Adrian Silva now playing at Leicester. Um, he was famously, I think, didn't, I think it, he got signed a couple of minutes after the deadline. I mean, they had to wait till January to have, have it official, really. Has uh, just wrapped the game up. Came up for William Carvalho. Found himself in space. A left foot finish. Passed over to Hay, who I think has had a shocker of a game. But Spain have had a shocker of a game. Portugal have been brilliant. But Ronaldo, weirdly, uh, hasn't been great. He hasn't been great, if I'm honest. This guy has been great. Spain, this is going to be a heavy loss to start the World Cup. But they've got games against, obviously, Morocco and Iran to turn it around and get through to the knockout the stages. But against big teams, I don't know. It's been a bit of a... Like that defending then. It just read it perfectly. Rafael um, Guerrero away. Rodrigo's got a chance here. Diego Cost, get your first goal. 4-2 it looks like it's going to end. It's been a fantastic game regardless of who has won and who has lost. But Portugal have done bits. I'm so impressed with them. So impressed. Rob Patricio has been lucky in goal to concede two, but he has saved two, well, two very good shots um, in this game. And it looks like it's going to be over. And it is 4-2 to Portugal. This has been the game of the tournament so far by a mile. Not only because of the teams involved. Cristiano Ronaldo looks pleased. Even though his personal, like individual performance hasn't been very good. But it's the team over... Well, it's the team over the individual performance. And Andre Silva, two shots, two goals. His first World Cup and he's done absolutely brilliant. Da he like consoles David De Gea by patting him on the head then but secretly he's like thinking yes I've beaten him twice with two shots and it's ended Portugal 4 Spain 2 <sighs> let's have a look at the stats and who got man of the match so the man of the match actually went to Diego Costa which considering Spain lost and yeah I get Diego Costa got a goal at the end, but I think Andre Silva should have got it. He got a 9.2. Like Pepe and Fonte should have got higher. Like Pepe was blocking everything. Fonte was doing brilliantly against Diego Costa. Obviously, towards the end, um, Spain got back into it a bit, but I am very shocked at how Spain played. I think the four mate, we played so much better in the second half once it went more narrow. Like, you shouldn't have David Silva and Isco as wide players. They should be narrow in those pockets between the midfield and defence pushing forward. It'll be interesting to see how they line up in the actual World Cup in this game. Um, but no, very impressed with that. David De Gea again, a 6.4, and quite rightly so. Could have got less in my view. He did save Ronaldo shot once, but I don't even know if that was going in. And then Ronaldo missed like a couple of minutes later. But stats-wise... We'll have a quick look at it. Like Spain had more shots, but at the end of the day, like Portugal were more clinical. All the shots on target, it should say four on target for Portugal because obviously they scored four goals, even though one did go off for the post, but I still think it's on target realistically. They every shot on target pretty much they scored, so 
absolutely brilliant from Portugal. Their tournament could be great, and consider I didn't play as Portugal. What a game that was. <sighs> I'm exhausted after that. Brilliant game. Like I say, game of the tournament so far. And if that game doesn't deserve a light, I'm shocked. Portugal on three points, joining Iran. But yeah, next episode is going to be an interesting one. First look at France with the likes of Pogba, Griezmann, Mbappe, uh, Giroud, uh, Lamar, Coman, U Usman Dembele, Varane. Loris, there's a lot of players, but Portugal beat rival Spain. That is the breaking news, and that is breaking news. Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode of uh, FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia, be sure to leave a like, uh, as I've already said. Subscribe if you're new so you can keep up to date, and you'll know exactly when I've uploaded the next one. But ne until next time, guys, goodbye.